In the next 10 minutes, I'll demonstrate the key highlights of the 3.0 release of CoCreate Modeling Personal Edition, the free lifetime use explicit 3D CAD solution from PTC. The first key highlight is when working with profiles, making it much easier and faster to create profiles. With the 2D Copilot, I can directly input precise values into the profile's on-the-fly dimension, and the profile reflects the value instantly. I can create the points of my profiles relative to other elements, like the rectangular profile, using real-time dimensional feedback and local value input for precise relative coordinates. Creating tangential profile segments is also easier, as now I can roughly sketch them and they are automatically trimmed when I use them in a 3D operation. This release really expands the use of Microsoft-like drag-and-drop modification to 2D profiles. It's a great way to directly reposition or change profiles. When working with multiple profiles, or leveraging existing geometry from 2D drawings, the software highlights all closed profiles, and I can easily select the profiles. The selected profiles can be used for machining operations, or using the new direct push-pull capability. Working with just one work plane, multiple profiles, and the new direct push-pull option, I can quickly create the 3D model. Let's create the base and the brackets using this new method. When modifying profiles, I get full 2D Copilot support with real-time position and dimension feedback. I can interactively rotate lines with the 2D Copilot, snapping to specific relative positions. With the new release, I can use drag and drop to change the radius of a circle and also interactively reposition it. So to summarize, when working with 2D profiles, I avoid the more traditional user interface and no longer need to use construction geometry. Also new are extended 3D Copilot capabilities, reducing mouse travel and picks, and significantly raising design productivity. Watch as I work directly with the model and avoid the more traditional user interface. The new context-sensitive mini toolbars provide quick access to frequently used operations and options next to the area of the model I'm working in. For example, if I select an edge, the commands to create a blend or a chamfer are displayed. If I select a blend, I can change the radius or see other options related to the blend. If I select a round face, I find the related commands, like change radius. If I select a face, the 3D Copilot is directly accessible to move the face, and with the spacebar, I get further options. With real-time modeling, I get the expected result when modifying designs. The changes I'm making are instant, real-time design changes, no need for previews or waiting for the model to update. Not only does this dramatically improve the speed at which I can drive changes, but I see the results instantly, making changes totally intuitive. Another highlight you'll see in this release is that I work on the design with enhanced realism at all times, including reflections, realistic shadows, and a mirror plane. This improves clarity of design visualization. The design changes I make are instant, real-time design changes, no need for previews or waiting for the model to update. I can modify multiple parts simultaneously with one operation, even imported models. Notice that I'm working within and across the assembly, and not just on single parts. This release automatically and intelligently recognizes all types of complex form features, like the complex boss and pocket. And as I work, the real-time rendering, real-time modifications, and clear graphics feedback makes the changes intuitive, fast, and simple, leading to faster design modification and enhanced predictability for design changes. The new pull command combines multiple commands. With linear pull, I can extrude and mill using profiles or faces. Pulling a profile away from the part automatically adds material. Pulling through the part removes material. Angular pull combines the turn and bore. I can select a face or a profile, define the direction of the pull, and dynamically define the angle or give it a precise value for the angular pull. I can easily switch between angular and linear pull. The command is in the option menu, which you can access by pressing the spacebar.
When I use 2D profiles, the pull works the same, adding or removing material. With multiple profiles available on the work plane, I can easily select the profiles I want to use for the pull operation. I just click on the areas to select or deselect them. I can use the pull command on faces the same way. Just click on the face, use the pull command from the mini toolbar, and pull or push the face to add or remove material. With selected faces, I have several options in the mini toolbar. Here I use stretch, which keeps tangency. With this release, I can add 3D dimensions directly to the model and drive 3D changes using dimensions. Notice that as I add dimensions, it's as easy as adding dimensions in 2D. I can fully or partially dimension the 3D design and add them while I'm designing or once the design is complete. I'm really flexible in how I can use dimensions. I can even add them to imported 3D designs. I can drive changes to the model by changing the value of the 3D dimension. I can also use 3D dimensions to drive the design change across groups of selected geometry, not just those faces that I've dimensioned. I can either drag with the 3D copilot dynamically, or enter a precise value in the dimension field to define the change. Here I'll move both the whole and the outer faces in one move, while maintaining all the local relationships, like tangency. See how when I change the height of the design, the tangency conditions are maintained, and the selected through hole and faces are moved in real time in one easy step. If I pick the left hand side of the dimension, that side moves. If I pick the right hand side, that side moves. And if I don't pick a side, the change is driven in a symmetrical way. Another major improvement are the on-the-fly dimensions that include linear and angular measurements. Notice how the change is done in real time without the need for preview. I just select the geometry with box select and drag with the 3D copilot. I can redefine the dimension references by moving the fix and move points, making it much easier to use relative measurements without using intermediate steps to measure the distances and use the results for the change. I can enter values directly. The extended pattern capabilities are also new. In this example, I'll use the step at the bottom of the ladder to create the pattern for all the steps. I can build the base of the pattern from the boss with the through hole on the side of the ladder, the mounting assembly, including nut and bolt, and the step, which is also an assembly. On the fly, I quickly create a user-defined feature. To create the pattern, I simply select the user-defined features, parts, and assemblies that I want to use as the base for the pattern. I'll create four new steps with a linear pattern. Notice that I see immediate feedback and can either drag the pattern dynamically or enter a precise value. All the bosses with through holes have been created, together with the mounting assembly and the steps. And with this release, it's easy to change the pattern. Let's add another two steps and update the design. I can now add shaded views to drawings. You can define and place views on your drawing as before, but have an additional option to use a shaded view. Shaded views provide additional information about the 3D model, like color and shadows, and make the drawing more intuitive. With this latest release of CoCreate Modeling Personal Edition, I'm definitely a lot more productive, and it supports Windows 7. If you haven't upgraded to the latest release, or haven't tried the Personal Edition, Visit www.ptc.com slash go slash modeling PE.